Good afternoon. Hello, everyone. I sold some stock and I reinvested and I bought 5,000 shares of a different stock to hold for long-term investing. All right, I'll do the best I can as fast as I can. I'm going to speak about this company, Noble Corporation. It's a company that I bought penny stock a while ago, and now I'm doing research again, seeing where everything will lead me to. I'm reorganizing my portfolio. They are located in London, and main office is in Sugarland, Texas. And um, the company is a, what, it says, Noble owns and operates one of the most modern, versatile, and technically advanced fleets in the offshore drilling industry. And after reading their restructuring information, again, I've been following this company and learning more about all the mistakes I made when I first started investing. That's why I'm selling off some and, uh, in my opinion, reinvesting more smart for my future. And this is a company that I decided to invest in. I'm going to read this in a moment, but let's get to some fun stuff first. Today, my activity, I bought 5,000 shares of the Noble. I bought 100 shares of Prissy. I will speak about that in a moment. I took a screenshot to make it easier. I sold 25 shares of Jets. It's the airlines. I could have I could have received more money as a profit, but today felt right. I wanted to get rid of them, so I reinvested some of the money. And I bought 20 shares of Pritzi. I, I was messing around because I was learning. I'll, I'll explain that in a moment. And, of course, I bought 25 more shares in Sensionautics, if you follow me. Let me close that. To show you, these are the dates that I bought jets. And I stopped because the airlines kept going down, down, down. I could have made another, like, $75 profit, but that was a while ago. And I just wanted to get rid of them, just like I did with the... American Airlines. In my opinion, you need thousands of shares to really earn anything of significance, and the shares are kind of high, even when they were at rock bottom for me. They were kind of high. So here's the proof that I bought them. And here's the proof that I sold them. And... I received $443.25. Well, let me show you. I hope I did this right. Here we go. You see that I sold it here. My original cost of buying those 25 shares was $357.61 which came out, I subtracted that from the profit. I made a profit of $85.64, but I times it by 30% and average to, because you have to pay taxes on it. And if you sell stocks within the first year, you have to, you have to pay the top tax. I have learned that from watching so many channels. So I deducted another 25 69.2, I guess that's what that is. And there you go, I subtracted it. My profit was $59.94, and the 8 is like a fraction of a penny. So I made a little profit. I got my money back, and I made a little profit. Now, the reason why I decided to, oh, I hope I did this right. Yes, the reason why I decided to 
invest in this company. I'm going to tell you why right now. As of now, I own 10,000 shares of this company. And my average cost is three cents. I chose to invest in this for long term. Their 52 week high is a dollar fifty eight, and then everything started crashing. So they are restructuring. My total investment is two hundred and sixty six dollars. I didn't buy these ten thousand all at once. I bought like a thousand here, a thousand there, and I was learning. But I, I feel confident I wanted ten thousand shares in that after I sold the airline stocks. I said I'm going to reinvest some of it and I'm going to give myself a few extra bucks. And that's that. So that's how that's working right here. I own 10,000 shares right here, guys. The On July 31st, 2020, they did a restructuring support agreement with two ad hoc groups. Those are the people that, they're not really a part of a group, but they have a lot of shares in the company. That's what I believe it is. You have to take action to learn. They are the largest holders of the company's outstanding bond debt regarding a consensual financial restructuring transaction that will significantly deleverage the company's balance sheet and position the company for long-term growth. I'm not going to read the second paragraph, but I will read the third paragraph. The company has sufficient capital. This will be interesting to a working class man. The company has a sufficient capital to fund its worldwide operations and does not require additional post-petition financing at this time. Noble plans to continue to operate as normal and without interruption for the duration of the restructuring and will continue to pay employee wages and health and welfare benefits as well as vendors in the normal course. That's what I want to see. And I'm really glad to read that, to hear it. I had a feeling they were going towards that direction. They have to restructure. Yes, they did um, voluntary Chapter 11 with the United States Bankruptcy Code and the United States Bankruptcy Court. They had to do it, but they're not going anywhere. And you can read more about this company if you want to learn more about them. But the point is, my average is three cents. I see long-term growth with this company. I needed to reevaluate my portfolio. I, I sold some stock. I'm giving myself a few bucks back and I reinvested some of the money into in my opinion. This is I'm just sharing with I'm sharing with you what I chose to do. Okay, we got over that. Very interesting. Then I also bought I'm a little a company called Pritzy. Prissy. Prissy. And they are a Spanish media conglomerate that owns a portfolio of newspapers, magazines, radio stations, and television channels. I bought 120 of these today. However, they're penny stocks, and Fidelity likes to check everything. They help you learn. If I was still at another, I'm not going to use a name because I don't want to, I want anybody like, suing me. If I used another modern stock market app, they would have just let me buy that without any learning curve of why this is, you know, a penny stock. They're explaining that Fidelity does not accept market orders for illiquid securities. Please change your market order to a limit order or contact Fidelity representative if you want to trade reviewed for eligibility as a market order. I just set it for a limit order and I'm going to see what happens and I'm going to learn. I bought 120 shares of this stock. Hopefully it'll go through today. 
If not, I'll try again tomorrow and I'll learn. I don't think I set the expiration date for long term, but I'll keep an eye on it. I'm just expanding diversity in my stock market portfolio. Okay, you see this here? I'm going to talk about two more things. Just to prove, I bought 25 more shares of Essentionotics that I always speak about. It's a continuous glucose monitoring system. And right now I own 2,761. I'm very proud of that. I'm going to move this down. And here's an example of potluck again. When I was at Robinhood, I bought a bunch of penny stocks. So I transferred everything to Fidelity. That's no secret if you follow me. And I bought them for 39 cents. Their 52 week high is $2.33. I bought 100 shares. I'm already in the profit of $179. Right now they're going, they're selling for $2.18. I'm going to leave this in there for a long time. It's ocean power technologies. It's like green energy, but they use the water and the ocean energy to produce energy. I found it interesting. Right now, I wish I bought a little more, but I, have a, I own 100 shares and I'm very grateful. And hopefully five to 10 years from now, I'm hoping they'll be worth a, at minimum $25 a share. That'd be a nice little profit. Update my home, do a few things and have the money available to do it. I speak about that noble, come on, come on, come on, what's the problem? That noble um, company, noble corporation. I watch this guy, London Real, and that noble corporation is located in London. So I know what's going on over there because I watch him a lot. And the research that I did on the stock market end with the noble corporation, I put it together and it can, for me, it solidified, yes, buy more shares. Reinvest some of that, some of the money that you earned into a long-term investment for your future. And I chose this because it's within my reach. Three cents is my average. I see a strong future for this company. But I watch this guy a lot. I like him a lot. And... You know, check him out. His channel's great. It's called London Real. He's, a, he's, I find him very interesting. So I know what's going on over there. I'm paying attention. The internet just opens up an endless amount of doors that you never would count on. Now, hold on, hold on. I'm going to give this guy a shout out too again. Meet Kevin. He's very young. He's not even 30 years old yet. I wouldn't doubt if he's a billionaire. He has his hands into everything. Um, he's absolutely a multi-millionaire. I learn a lot from him, and he's absolutely right. I watched him the past few days, and he's just sharing with the world what direction he's going toward when it comes to investing in the stock market. And he has, um, I guess, restructured his portfolio too, but he's also investing for long-term long um, profit. So I really be, I, I really follow him. I learn a lot. I just I happen to agree with him when he says this is an opportunity because of what's going on with the pandemic. I call it a pandemic. However, check him out. You will learn a lot. And here's another channel that I'm very into. I even joined his Patreon. It's five dollars a month. It's called Clear Value Tax. This guy is smoking. He's very conservative, but he's a great teacher. And it's a choice to follow him and, you know, follow his advice. He just shares what he thinks is going on. Um, he's a very successful YouTuber, but he's also an accountant. He's a financial advisor, and he runs a solid YouTube channel, Clear Value Tax. Check him out. The guy's great. I hope you learned a lot. There's a lot to share. 
Yes, I bought 5,000 shares today of Noble Corporation. And I'm really happy I did it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Oh, 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 oh. And if you want to dabble in the stock market, check out the link in the description below to Weeble. Use my referral link. They continue to extend their promotion of giving away free stocks when you open up a Weeble account. You make an initial deposit of $100 or more, and they keep extending it, so check it out. You will receive two free stocks instead of one. Once the deposit settles, you will be able to claim your two free stocks, each valued between $8 and $1,600. Please, if you choose to invest in Weeble, visit the links in the description below underneath this video and join Weeble through my referral link. Now I think I got it all. Have a good one, folks, and take the chance, take the time to learn about investing. It's so worth it. Educate yourself.